Morning everybody, hope everybody's okay. Um, I'm just coming on to share this quick project with you. And it is very quick, very simple, very easy. Should only take you about 20 minutes maximum. <clears throat> now I'm just going to show you the foundation. How you decorate it is up to you. <laughs> okay, so you're going to need four pieces if you want to do the same one that I'm doing, of 8 by 8 cardstock, okay? So you need four pieces. And you're just going to take it and you're going to fold it in half. And I've not brought me to score it with. <laughs> just looking around for another one, I can't even see one. Um, so you're going to fold it in half and of course you're going to burnish it. I'm going to use my nail for the minute. Then you're going to open it out, turn it the other way, fold it and burnish it. Okay. Then this line that you've just made here, you're going to take some scissors. I don't even know where my other ones of them are either. See, husband's been in and out of here messing about with stuff. So you're just going to cut up that one score line just to the centre. Okay, so now you've got something that looks like that. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this corner and you're going to make it meet up with this corner. Okay, so you have something that look, looks like that. Okay, so it's just a series of folds, that's all. So then you're going to open it out. Okay. Now you're going to fold that down and fold it up again so you have like an L shape. Okay. You still with me? <laughs> then you're going to fold this one over. Okay, so we add that shape and there's our folded bit diagonal. You're going to fold that one over. You're going to put your glue. I'm just using glue. You can use that's if the child lock will let me get into it. You can use sticky tape or whatever, but I'm using glue. And you're just going to go round that. And this is not my own design. It's not something new. It's been around for years. I've just revamped it for something that I want. Okay, so that's our panel with our glue on. Okay, so you're going to bring this one down and go over the top of it <laughs> and give it a squish. Okay. Make sure that's securely stuck. As I say, with sticky tape, you will get instant stick. So you end up with something that looks like that. I know it doesn't look much, does it? Okay, so it looks like that. Now I'm just going to put my panels on. And I'm using the snowflakes, the... Oh, what's that green pad called? It's green on one side, like old olive on one side and black on the other. <gasps> People are screaming at me at the minute. It's in the autumn and winter catalogue anyway. <laughs> I shall put the list, the name of it on when I upload this video. <laughs> 
Okay, so my panels are just two eighths short of three and three quarters. Uh, two eighths short of four inches. Okay, and we're going to put them on the front and the side panel. So I'll leave the two side panels. Okay, so that's going to go on there. So there's our two walls, if you like. And for this bottom piece, what I've done is I've took my coordinating DSP and I've just folded it in half so that when I put it on, it will fold over that fold that we made. Okay. Just makes it a bit easier to fold without it shifting on you. So I'm just doing the same again, just running around with my glue, not too close to the edge. And I'm going to run it down the centre so it catches on that fold, bit up the sides. Then I'm going to take the tip of the corner and I'm just going to lay it in because we know it's going to go over that fold because we made that fold. <laughs> okay. And that just gives it a nice little border and stops that from shifting on you. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fold that up. And you see what I mean about it not shifting on you? And I've just got covered in glue. <laughs> so you're going to fold that up and have the fold towards you. You're going to put glue on the outside By the way, you're going to make four of them <laughs> I would normally let the glue dry but so is my other three <laughs> Okay and I've pre papered them inside and you're just going to stack them on top of each other but make sure that your folds are all facing you <laughs> okay so you're going to do this to all four pieces and I just went ahead and done some of mine just for the video's sake again making sure the filled apart is towards me and I'm going to glue it directly on top of that one okay I was just making sure they were square <coughs> give it a good squash and again, the last one. Okay. Again, the fill towards me. Put it on top, 
make sure it's square and give it a squish. <laughs> And then I've got my two DSP, one for the top and one for the bottom. So I'm just going to run my glue around this. You could even make this as a card if you wanted to. Mine is going to be holding photographs. So it's just another way of doing a, I don't know, a junk journal, photo album, I don't know <laughs> what you would call it. Okay, turn it over and I'm going to put my other piece on this side. Okay, so just lay that up on there, giving us that nice border. Give it a squash for a minute. <laughs> so I've been catching up on loads of videos. I'm sorry that I don't always leave comments, but I do watch your videos. <laughs> So in effect, that is what we've got, okay, that's what it looks like. Now you could do probably six and make it into a star shape, yeah, can you see that? So you could do probably, I should have done six to be honest with you, but you could get away with six on there. Anyway, what you're going to do now is take your hole punch. <clears throat> excuse me and you're going to work out roughly where the centre is and I'm just going to go in there okay and this is just my stamping up and it's one eighth of an inch turn it over and roughly the same place so about there, now don't forget that just punched through card and DSP. Then I'm going to take some baker's twine, quite a lot of baker's twine. <laughs> and this is just white with silver um, thread going through it. And hopefully I can get the two pieces through there at once. Are you trying to kid Mel? You can't even get one piece through. <laughs> right, we'll go for one piece. It's not even giving me the one, it's giving me the foil, but none of the <laughs> baker's twine. Let me see. I can cut that bit off so I'm not worried. Okay, I'm going to take this all the way round the back. I 
and we're going to attempt to get it through this hole. <laughs> Let me cut, cut a bit off, get a sharper edge. Sorry, banging earphones and all that. I do apologise, but they slipped out of my hands. Okay, so I'll cut far too much off as per usual. And that is just going to be used as your closure for when you want to store it away. Okay, so just tie that in a bow, store it away flat. Um, but I've still got something I want to do on the inside. So on the inside of mine, what I'm doing is I've cut myself some cardstock and on one of the sides I'm going to do a waterfall. You know like I've shown you how to do the other day when we done that um, journal or philo or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just rounding the corners and all I've done is took three by three and a half cardstock, the whisper weight, and I've just scored it a half an inch. Okay, and your waterfall, how that works is you would put that one in, then you would meet that one up to there. And when you fold it over, it just waterfalls. And you would carry on doing that until you thought you'd had enough <laughs> okay so it just and I just round the corners on mine and I'll be putting the same DSP over the top but I'm just going to put that on one of the insides of my that'll only take three actually so one of the insides is going to take my waterfall I've also done pull out to go on the inside and they just go on there you stick the back down and then you can pull them out and add photographs if you will so that's how I'm going to decorate mine if you want me to do a follow up video to show you how I do it then please let me know in the comments below but I hope you give this a go and try giving it a go with six and if you do tag me in it because I might just do the six <laughs> okay ladies and gents hope you give that a go so it's eight by eight cardstock you fold it in half burnish it unfold it fold it in half the other way burnish it unfold it cut up one of your squares just to the center okay then you take that square and you bring it down to meet the opposite corner on the opposite side of the piece of paper creating a diagonal fold across the top so then you open that back out you bring the diagonal fold down the top hard, half of the card down and then you fold it back on itself to create an L shape okay then you tuck the right hand side over the top put your glue on it and then fold the left hand side down on top of your glue. Okay, I hope that made sense. If not, just pause the video and see what I'm doing. Okay, ladies and gents, take care for now and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.